Bonjour. Okay, I'm on page 10 of your textbook. I'm at the top in the box that says en français. It's spelled E-N but pronounced en. Okay, we're learning about accent marks today. In French, they have tons of accent marks over all sorts of things and sometimes it changes pronunciation of words and sometimes it doesn't. You need to learn what these accents are called and how it affects the way you speak and how you write. Why? Good question. Think about it in English. If someone says, your sentence needs to end with a period, and no one ever taught you what a period was, that doesn't make any sense. Or, if I say to you, you need to put an accent aigu on top of your E. Right now, if you've never had French before, you have no idea what I'm saying to you. And that's one of those accents that actually changes the pronunciation of the word. So it's very important that we learn what these accents are, what they're named, where they go, and how they affect a word. So, let's get started. Let's get it started. Ha! Okay, I'm at the top. Accent aigu. Repeat, accent aigu. Good. Here's an accent aigu. Get it up to my screen here. Oh, there we go. That's better. So, it is, it can only go on top of an E. It is a hash mark that goes up into the air, okay? And what it does is that it makes an E make the sound A. In your book, it gives you the examples écran and vélo. Écran, which is screen, and vélo, which is bike. So, accent aigu, a hash mark going upwards above the E. And I'll make sure I do this in class again because I'm not sure if it's making a little backwards on the screen or not, but know that it's going up. Accent aigu goes up. I like, if I have trouble remembering or if I have a student who's having trouble remembering, I like to think of it this way. Aigu, aigu. Throwing your hands up in the air, the hash mark goes up you're golden. Also, it reminds you that it makes the sound A. Silly as it might be, if it works, go with it. Okay, next one, accent grave, accent grave. The accent grave is just the opposite. The hash marks go down. Now, the hash marks can go this down this way over these three letters, A, E, and U. The way my French teacher taught me to remember this one, remember that it goes down, is that it is though you are digging a grave. You have to dig down into the ground to dig a grave. Accent grave. This one does not change the pronunciation of your word, but it does uh, matter as far as grammar and spelling goes. Okay, so uh, example words they give you are kilomètre and zèbre. Kilomètre and zèbre. If it helps you to remember, at least for the E, you're going to make a short E sound, eh, when you're using accent grave. Okay, next we are moving on to accent circonflex. Now, I just realized as I was putting this lesson together that I've been pronouncing this wrong forever. I haven't actually seen the word spelled out, uh, so I've been pronouncing it wrong, so I learned something today, too. It's accent circonflex. So, this handy dandy helpful accent mark can go over any vowel it darn well pleases. And that's how you spell accent circonflex. It does not change the pronunciation either, but you need to know what it's called because it is very important for your writing. And also, a little memory trick I learned for this one, circonflex, the little mark is flexing down over the letter. Flex, circonflex. All right. Words um, it gives you for an example of that one are dome and forêt. Dome is just a dome and forêt is a forest. Okay, sedia. It's fun to say, it's fun to write, it's just all kinds of fun. Too much fun for one place, but we're going to do it anyway. So, sedia is this. It can only go beneath a C. And what happens with sedia is that it turns the C into an S sound. So whenever you see that, you will never ever say k. You will always say s. And as you look at it, you can see that it almost looks like a 
like a little snake slithering down from the sea, or at least that's what I've always said to help me remember it. So it's called Sadia, Sadia. And it does change your pronunciation. That C becomes an S. The word it gives you in your book is Lesson, Lesson, which just means lesson. Okay, and then the final mark they're giving you is called Trema, Trema. These are double dots over a letter. It can only be over E or I. And what this does is it makes it so that you know you have to separate sounds between vowels. Now what in the world do I mean by that? Look in your book uh, beside where it says Trema. See where it says Noel, which is the word for Christmas. If those marks weren't there, it would be pronounced Nol. But they don't want that. They want two distinct vowels. So they put the trema over the E and the word becomes Noel. Uh, and then the next one, maiz, maiz, which I do believe is corn. Double check me on that, maiz. Very good. And then if you want to find out how, you, um, how a word that you've just heard is spelled, which I always do, the phrase you use is sa secri. Comment? Ça s'écrit comment? I'll say it one more time, then you repeat. Ça s'écrit comment? Good, and we'll keep practicing that. Um, as for myself, I have to see how something is spelled out or have someone tell me how something is spelled out for me to know how to pronounce a new word in French. And I'm with you guys, I'm learning new French stuff all the time. Uh, I might be teaching the 101 class, but in the 400 level classes, I'm still learning. So, uh, that is our En Francais section. Quick review. Accent aigu, hash mark going up, only can be over E, makes the sound A. Accent grave does not really change the pronunci of any, pronunciation of anything, but it, the hash marks are going down. Remember to remember the difference. The accent aigu, 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 and it teaches you to remember that it makes the word A. Accent grave, you are digging the grave. You have to go down. Okay, then we have, uh, do we do grave next? Yeah. Then we have accent brave somewhere around here. Hmm. Oh no, I just did that one, didn't I? Ha. Huh. Okay, well, then after grave, we have circonflex. Oh, I'm with you now. Okay, circonflex. Remember to remember uh, what that one looks like. It's flexing over the letters and it can go over any vowel it darn well pleases. Next we had sadia. Sadia. It makes the C sound like an S and it looks like a little snake slithering out of the bottom of the C there. And then our final one was trema. Two dots over either E or I and it makes it so that you have to separate the vowel sounds. And then if you want to know how something that you uh, had just heard was spelled, you say, ça s'écrit comment. Okay, that's a lot of grammar to take in. What are these videos for? Going back, reviewing, studying, putting it in your brain. That's what this is for, so that you can go back and take these bites as quickly or as slowly as you choose and do what you need to really learn. I have every faith in you. Keep up the good work.